Hi, everybody. Here's a summary of what's new in uh, Click uh, for February 23. I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you do, uh, please subscribe to the video. Um, the document that supports this, as well as a sample app, will be in my Patreon account. It'll be linked in the descriptions for the video, and you can get grab that for free uh, till the end of March. Thank you. Okay, there are 19 updates this month. Um, being February, and uh, I just wanted to go through those in this YouTube. The first of them is around accessing SAP data using the direct access gateway. Uh, that's a Windows server that sits inside the firewall. Uh, there are two um, analytics gateway data gateways. Uh, one of them is direct access and the other is data movement. Uh, so there's uh, a little difference between those. Direct access connects directly to the data and, and loads it, whereas data movement it picks it up and moves it somewhere else. And generally speaking, that goes into um, a staging area and then is calculated and processed in other places. So a lot more capability in data movement. Uh, but uh, in this case, we're looking at the uh, direct access and direct access looks a little bit like this. Um, there's no opening of the firewall needed for this to happen. There's only outbound connections running. And, and in this case, we're looking at SAP uh, NetWeaver data. Uh, so that includes BI, BW, BRP, and CRM systems and others that can be uh, used. So the next one is um, troubleshooting app reloads. Uh, a couple of things have been added. There's four pieces that have been added here. Uh, and at the same time, some uh, unnecessary notifications have been removed. When developers are building things uh, using data load editor or data manager, there doesn't seem to be any point to have a notification to the admins uh, because uh, frequently when you do those things, you uh, make a mistake somewhere along the line, and it's not necessary for it to go across. There's a couple of new uh, chart functions that have been added. Um, I've made a little demonstration app of those things, and um, I'll share that in my Patreon account, uh, and it'll be available for free for the next month, and then it goes to be part of being a Patreon. Essentially, what it does, it it looks an object looks to what sheet it's on, and if it if it's on a particular sheet, it becomes blue. So in this case, sales 2022 becomes blue. And if it's on the next sheet, sales 2023, one button becomes blue and the other one becomes gray. Um, have a look inside the application if you download it in the next month. Now, there's a new template available uh, for application automation, and that's to take a multi-page PowerPoint report and then uh, push it into Microsoft SharePoint so that it can be accessed by people. Um, what I wanted to do was to show you how to start that process uh, if you haven't done it before. Uh, if you click on Add New as a developer, uh, you'll probably be used to new analytics apps and up uploading data, but there's also an automations option there. And when you do that, you come into a template area. And if you search for Power, as I did, or PowerPoint, if you want, um, that'll give you the template to be used. Um, and I think that's quite a powerful option. And there's a, a much more complicated, uh, sorry, detailed uh, explanation up there. Um, so there's been some updated tutorials, one for Click AutoML and the other for uh, Click AutoML when it's time series. And so those two are available now. Just note that um, there are costs involved when you uh, put an AutoML experiment and you make it a deployment and predictions and prediction apps and so on. So make sure you talk to your admin before you do that. Um, when you've got automations happening, um, it's important to be able to understand what's happening. And if you're an admin, the piece I'm showing right there, the admin can go across and see all automations. And if you've got some of your own, if you click in this space here, you'll be able to see just your automations and do some checks on whether they're running or not. And there's a link there to talk more about that um, if you need it. It'll be in the document. Um, line charts can 
now have more values in there, up to 50,000 points and 1,000 lines. I, I haven't tested this to see how uh, this performs, but I'm assuming it's pretty good, but uh, be worth checking for yourself before you put it into production. You can also change uh, font styling for scatter plots and text and image objects. Uh, some others were done like this a month or two ago. Uh, and so in the area under the general appearance area, there's an option to go in and look at uh, styling. And you can see there, you can change um, fonts, um, sizes of fonts, colors, etc., cetera, um, for title, subtitle, and footnote. Uh, you can also uh, change the background color and background image. Those two um, have also been added to bar charts, pie charts, pivot tables, and regular tables. Um, so. Uh, that adds to their capability as well. It'd be kind of nice to experiment and try a couple of those. And so that's where that happens in, for those objects as well. Um, Amazon Redshift can now be used as a data platform when you're looking at data movement. Um, but just note that you need to have a staging area for that before it goes into Redshift, and that would be S3 buckets. Um, so there's a little bit of work involved in doing that. There's a link to talk you through. You can get the document with the link in it. Um, it'll be in the description of this video. Um, there's also a Click Cloud Business Glossary that's just been released. I haven't had a chance to look at this yet, so I'll do that later and, and create another video about it. But uh, there's some links there that will help you get an overview of what it can do. Um, lineage connectors, This, in this case, we're talking about US government, so it doesn't really apply to Australia, but lineage connectors, there's kind of two levels. The first level is click things, um, and um, they're included in the product for free. And then there's additional connectors to other sources like Oracle and SQL and Snowflake and so on um, that are a chargeable piece. Uh, so here's just a, a small application that I run, um, which is around earthquakes. And you can see it comes from um, a REST connector that goes off to the US Geological Survey. Uh, then the app itself uh, stores things into QVDs and does some incremental loads. So you'll see there's a loop back into that app. And then my final product there. If I wanted to see further into what happened in the REST connector, I would need the, to pay for the commercial connectors to see more information there. Uh, the next one is that in that lineage connector area, um, Power BI uh, can now uh, grab some other uh, environments and their um, government community cloud and government community cloud high are now available for the lineage connector to go and grab data from. Uh, click data integration scheduling. This is data movement once again. Uh, that's been updated and made a lot simpler. Um, so you'll see there's an image here of um, some of the capability to do those things. Uh, plenty of links to tell you about that. Um, and there's also um, some new um, data connections uh, or the views of those connections. Those, and there's a link to show you about that. Um, and that's what it looks like for the pipeline view. And the last one is that um, you can use SFTP as a data source uh, for ClickCloud. Uh, and that could be useful if you've got flat files you want to upload because flat files uh, don't go through uh, some of the other options that are available. Sorry, there was one more, uh, Google BigQuery and MongoDB, uh, there's some in increased security. So that's all of the all of the pieces for this month. Um, remember that um, liking and uh, subscribing to the videos really helps me uh, to get this out to more people. And it also makes me feel good. So um, please, if you can, uh, jump in and like and subscribe. Um, some of the information in this will be in a Patreon account and um, I'll update that for you soon.